You can go with your one kilo or your 0.5. We're going to do our lowers and our lifts. You're all on froze, freeze, so I can't correct anyone. You're going to take yourself into a gentle little squatted position. Here's a moment if you wanted to add a little bit of extra work in, you could stick that ball between your knees and then you can squeeze on that ball to activate those inner thighs a little bit. Good morning, Mad Her. Good morning, Mad Her's family in the background there. Nice. All right, so you're going to take your arms up to the side and then you're going to pull it down from your back muscles. You're going to twist and bring it up and pull it down. Suck the belly back in. You can also be activating your hamstring butt connection point through the back. Keep sucking the belly back in. Keep squeezing the inner thighs. Good morning, Esmeralda. Keep squeezing the hamstring butt connection points. squeezing the inner thighs towards each other. Again, if you've got that ball there and you want to put that ball between your knees, now is a nice moment to use your ball just to give you a little bit of extra, extra, extra challenge. something. Extra challenge, there you go. Keep on sucking those bellies back. on squeezing the inner thighs. When I say the inner thigh, really think of this section right at the top here, close to the groin. Jack, you're on mute, great. Okay, we stay back in the same position, take our arms out to the side, and we circle. One, two, three, find your back muscles, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, rest. Oh, I've chosen the one kilos and it's very, very difficult. And out in front. And one, two, three, four, five, belly's back, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And rest. Uh, Sylvia, you're going to grab your one kilos here. We're going to do some bicep work. So I want you to have a little bit heavier. All girls on one kilo, Jack Paul, you go with whatever you want. It's biceps, so you can go a little bit heavier than normal. We're doing half biceps. So we're coming to here and we're stopping, and then we're dropping back down. Half bicep, 
So we did this last night and I loved it. We did like a little series and it really builds. It was really quite a lovely feeling once you get to the end of the series. Half bicep. Shoulders open. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Well, yeah, I'm going to be um, asking people to count for me while Mandy's away, but it's not helping right now the situation. Everyone's frozen. Ooh. I'll be nominating people to count for me for sessions. I'm trying to work out how we make that work. I'm guessing that you just stop the person that's the counter. When you stop, I stop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is that the last one? Nine. 10, hold it there, take it wider, open the shoulders up, repeat the same, and half one. Here's a little build up. Two, oh, you're all back with me. Three, lovely. Four, five, six, oh, isn't that a lovely feeling? Seven, eight, Nine, ten. Now you could be sitting in a squatted position, keeping those legs working, or you'd be roaming around like me, which is probably not the best way to do it. Just makes it easier as I wander around the room. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back. Take it down. Bring it up. Rotate. Drop. Rotate up, drop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, or one. Sylvia, change back to your one point fives, please. Uh, Sadie, you go with. You might want to go one. You might want to go one point five. Up to you. Everyone else, we're going to go for a one. Paul and uh, Jack, you do whatever you want. You say Sadie one point five. No, Sadie will do a point. Sadie do a point five or a one. See how you feel. We're going to take our arms above our head. We're going bicep curl, twist, push, back, twist and down. Bicep curl, twist, push. As we push, suck the bellies back. Shoulders down. Yeah, keep those shoulders down. Actually, that's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I'm only up seven. <laughs> that is true. Trying to move my arms around is like trying to move cooked spaghetti around. Nearly there. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. You're all back on three. Sorry, I can't correct you. One kilo weights, please, next. Boys, it's triceps. You take whatever weight you like. Triceps and lats. So we're one kilo. Sylvia, you're one kilo with me as well. Drop down into a little lunge. Tip the torso forward. Nice flat back here. No rounding. Squat. Squat position with the knees. Arms are down in front. Don't let the shoulders drop. Keep the shoulders back. Pull from the lats, extend, bend, press. Now as you press, don't let the shoulders come forward. Pull from the lats, extend, bend, press. Pull, extend, bend, press. Pull, extend, bend, press. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, don't drop them down on this last one. One, hold it out, gentle little claps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, tiny bends and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold them stretched and straight, hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. We're going to do our flies next, so I would like you to drop down to point five, please. Bending the knees. Tip the torso slightly forward. Arms are slightly bent. We lift the arms up and we drop it back down. Lifting it up and drop. So we don't want to go too heavy with the fly, otherwise you're just going to feel it in your neck. Three, four, belly's back. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two, one of my least favorite arm exercises, three, four, well, the back shoulders, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten and ten, nine, oh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, oh, weights down, and coming back to the center. All right, so we're going to go with a tiny little rise up onto the up onto the toes. We're going to connect the heels together. So we're not right up here. We're kind of halfway between being up and down. We're going to tuck our pelvises under. We're going to start like this, and we're never going to come back to being stretched and straight. We're going to drop down a little bit, and then we're going to squeeze back up to being still slightly bent at the knees. We've got a tucked under pelvis. So we drop down, up and squeeze one. Now we're gonna lift from your hamstring butt connection point. Two, we're zipping up through the pelvic floor. Three, four, five. Now take your hands onto your belly so you can feel your transverse abdominus working. Six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep squeezing these inner thighs when you get up. Two, three, three, three. Oh God. Four. We're in trouble for the next four weeks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Hold it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Press your foot back slightly, just stretch that calf muscle out. Changing sides. Wide position. Rise up halfway. Tuck under. Bend the knees slightly. Here we go again. And drop one. Squeeze. As you lift, feel like your inner thighs are lifting you up. Lifting up through the pelvic floor. Zip up through the center. Squeeze the hamstring butt connection points. Keep that pelvis tucked, as tucked as you can. Check that your knees are not doing this. They need to be open, as open as you can get them. Boom. Keep zipping up through the pelvic floor. Keep those knees open. Don't let them be dropping forward. That's not great for the ligaments when you let them drop forward. Yeah. Okay, now we go one leg is flat, one leg is up. Pumping the cardio up. Here we go. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And drop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, rest, give it a shake out. Wide position. We're going into our skiing action, so with the skiing action, you're going to get a stretch uh, especially in the beginning ones, you're going to get a stretch in those inner thighs. So as I bend into this leg, I'm going to let this hip drop inwards slightly. So this butt cheek is going to come up a little bit. Hang on a second. You got a jack, thank you. Okay, so as this one comes over, my hip drops in. Then as I come to this way, this hip lifts, this hip drops in. Okay, we take it easy the first couple because you're gonna get that stretch and then we're gonna pick up the pace. Hands back, ski position. Tip your torsos forward and we begin. One, take it slow to start with two. Respect the inner thigh, three. Four, let those hips swing, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We pick the pace up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Elongate those fingers. Eight, nine, ten. I want you to feel your triceps. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pick the pace up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Oh, Mandy's in the back, can't I? Do another round. 22 by 60, that's 32. Okay, grab your yoga blocks if you've got them. If you do not have them, you will have to do it without your yoga block. If you've got a ball, here is another opportunity. You can put your ball between your knees. We're going to go heels up on the yoga block, feet down on the floor. If you've got no yoga block, you're just going to have to do it with uh, flat feet. Yoga block just makes it more fun. Tuck under, gentle little bend, more or less what we did before, but we've got the block to support us. Tuck under and dropping down, one. Don't come all the way back up, two. Squeeze three, squeeze four, five, six, squeeze seven, hamstring butt connection points, eight, nine, ten. So if you're off the block, you're just like this one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fast drop. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and grab your chairs, please. And we're going to do some bottom. All right. So we have, hang on, just let me take a five second rest. I can't see if any of you are doing anything yet because you're frozen, but I presume some of you are getting your chair. So I'll just take a five second moment while you use, you get your chairs, you, use, you, you all get your chairs. Okay, so with the chair exercise, uh, mostly for Sadie because everyone's done this before, please make sure Sadie that your back is really like, you're not, you don't want to be arched like this. You want your back to be in a nice straight line. If you feel it in your back, you need to change your position. Both legs are slightly bent. This leg is up and bent. So we've got both bent legs. This one is going to press back. So we're using the hamstring and the butt. Then you bring it back in and press two. Now that working leg is not the leg that is moving, or well, it's working, yes, but the working leg is also that supporting leg. Four, belly's back. For five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Change legs. Press it out 
one. Create tension in the leg that you're moving. Two. Think of driving it from the hamstring, but connection point. Three. Four. Five. Belly's back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. First leg. Swing it forward. Swing it up. One. Swing it forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold it up there. Ten. Nine. Squeeze. Eight. Squeeze in here. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Changing legs. And press it up. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up and ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Change legs, bend the leg and take it to the side. One, two, three, four. You can see that I'm trying to replace my pelvis each time. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides and swing it up. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, rest. While we're standing in our chairs, gently take yourself into a straight legged hamstring stretch. Go down slow, quite a strong stretch. Stretch your hands out, stretch your backs out, and hold. Bend one knee. Stretch both. Then the other knee. Stretch both. Bend both knees. Bring yourself all the way up while we've got our chair. Come and quickly sit on the chair. We'll do a nice glute stretch while we're here. Take one leg up and over the other. Everyone feels this differently in this stretch. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Take your torso forward that you can feel your glute. 
it's up to you where you take your body to. That's my maximum. I can't go too much more forward than that. Take a deep breath in. And out. And change sides. Taking your body forward. Breath in and breath out and coming down to your mat, please. Okay. So you're going to take your uh, you're going to take your yoga block with you. You're going to take your weights with you. You're going to take your ball with you if you have them. If you don't have them, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to start with. We're going to start up straight, arms are going to be out in front of us, we're going to take a deep breath in and on the breath out we're going to slowly start peeling our spines down vertebra by vertebra. Taking your arms all the way over your head. Take a deep breath in, lift your head and shoulders and pause. Breathe out, slowly roll your spine out of the mat. Press forward and stretch. Deep breath in. Breathing out. Now as you roll back, think of using your inner thighs. So zip your inner thighs up all the way up towards your pelvic floor as you roll back. Take a deep breath in, lift. Breathing out and rolling all the way up. Pressing forward. Take a deep breath in. Now we're going to do our stops. So we're going to hold here. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, take it that little bit further. Hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little bit further. Hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your arms all the way over your head. Bring it up, roll it all the way up, reach it forward and stretch. Take a deep breath in, we roll it back and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little bit more, hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. A little bit more. Hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way back. We've got two more rounds of this. Lift it up, roll it up, reach forward, take yourself into a bigger stretch. Roll it back. Hold ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A little bit more. Hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, a little bit more, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last round, lift, press all the way forward, hold and stretch, hold for five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, roll it back, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, a little bit more, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, a little bit more, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bringing your arms all the way over your head and laying onto your sides, please. We're going to bend both knees so they're level with your body. My feet are just behind me. And then I'm going to shunt my pelvis forward slightly so I'm very much in a nice straight line. My top foot is pressing down on my bottom foot. I'm going to activate my hamstring butt connection point and I'm going to open my leg up. One. So I definitely can feel this foot on top of the other foot. Belly's back in. Drop it back down. Squeeze it open too. Squeeze it open three. Squeeze four. Squeeze five. Squeeze six. We're going for 20 reps. Seven, eight. So it's the clam, but it completely gets in in a different area of the glute. Nine, ten, keep sucking the bellies back, please. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold the leg open. Lift the bottom foot. My knee stays as open as I can possibly get it, so I'm not parallel, I'm in a rotated position. I'm going to send my leg back. My leg stays bent. Then it's going to stop. At some point, my glute is just going to stop me from going back any further. I then bring it back to the position and drop it back down. I open the leg up. I hold my knee in rotation. I lift my bottom foot, my, sorry, my top foot. I send my leg back. I do not change the shape of my leg. It's just carrying back as one. I stop when my glute stops me. Suck the abs in. Bring it back. And drop it down. Opening up. Now as I send my leg back, my glute will stop me. Then here I really suck in, in my psoas. So you'll feel your abs working here. Bring it back and drop it down, four, five, give me as much rotation as you can get there, Brian. Really hold that knee open here. Hold it open as much as you can. That's it, now send it back without change. There you go. Two more reps. Maintain that openness. I think you should do three. Sarah can do a weird number. Three sets left. Now two. Now two sets left. <laughs> Fully dooly. Let's 
Last one. So you're actually nailing a pretty fancy dance move here, but we're doing it on the floor. Now, we're going to come up onto our elbow. We're going to lift our bodies upwards. Lift up through your obliques, and we're gonna do the clam up. Okay, I know that it's terrible, but it's good for us. It's an all over body, body workout. Lift it up. Lift up through the obliques and opening up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten and change sides. The first thing we do is we take our knees aligned with our hips. We shove the pelvis forward slightly so you really make sure you're nice and aligned. Top foot presses down on the bottom foot. We open it up one. Two. Three. So what this um, exercise is doing is it's kind of creating that nice indentation in the glute. Three. Four. Five. Like that scooping set scooping shape. Five. Six. Oh gosh. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. We've got ten to go. And ten, nine, abs, eight, seven, six. You've all frozen on me again. Five, four, three. You really make sure that those knees and hips are aligned. Two, one. Like you're hanging on a bar and the legs are right underneath the shoulders. Now we lift the leg up, we hold the knee open, we lift the foot slightly and we send it back. One. So we're trying to get that knee as open as possible. Hold the rotation. Two. Three. Four. So you're actually doing what is called an attitude which you would normally do in a standing position. Much nicer in a laying down position. Five. Suck those bellies in, suck that psoas in. And last one, we come up onto our elbow. You can pretty much take your knees where you feel like you want them to be, that you can maintain the position. It's hard enough holding the body up. We lift our body upright. Make sure your obliques are working. And opening up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Come back to the first side. Pretzel, which we did last night. I loved it, so I'm going to start experimenting with pretzel a bit more. So we sit in the mermaid position to begin. This leg goes back. So back on an angle. My knee is back from my hip. You're then going to drop down to your elbow, or you bend it like that. You can drop down to your elbow. Whew. Okay, now, what I did last night, which was incorrect, was I rested my leg in between each lift. We have to hold... <laughs> Whew. You have to hold the leg and don't drop it down. So we lift it up. One. Flex the foot. Two. It looks so easy. Three. But it's not. Four. Five. Poor Jack. He's probably thinking, but, but, and more but. Thank you, Nat. Six. Seven. Eight. I know you're back with me. Nine. No one's left the room. Good. Ten. Now, hold it up. Press it back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now, the pretzel is working your abs as well. In case you're wondering. Six. Seven. Eight. Oof. Nine. I need to have a break. Ten. I need to have a break. Hold. Five. Just rest. Four. Those of you that don't want to rest, you just hold your leg up. Three. Two. One. Up we go again. We rotate the knee upwards. One. Four. Two. Three. Oh, that's kind of unnecessary after all those plans we just did. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's nice when you've got this big mat to hold on to. Eight, nine, ten. Change sides. How am I going for time? Five minutes. Oh, here I go. Kind of hard to sit into this leg now, isn't it? We'll stretch out, out in a minute. Take this knee back. Okay, so it's not the comfortable mermaid position. Drop down. And flex the foot. Lift it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Send it back and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, five second rest, five, four, three, two, one, and rotate, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and rest we're going to do a psoas stretch as much as my wife doesn't want to do a psoas stretch but she might thank me because she's about to be on the plane for 24 hours so this one's for you mandy <coughs> coming into your stretch put a pillow under your knee tucking under take your arm up that you're stretching don't lean too far forward with this one. It's a straight up and down stretch. 
Suck the belly back in. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Deep psoas stretch. Take it down. Let the leg that's out in front swing to the side slightly so you get into your adductors. Holding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change sides. Foot is curled up at the back. Pillow under the knee that's on the floor. Foot is slightly out in front of the knee. Tuck under. Lean into it slightly. Take the leg and arm, same arm as leg, up to the ceiling. Hold. Suck the belly back. Holding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it down into a deep stretch. Let the leg swing to the side. Hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. How am I going for time? Coming into a cross-legged position, just quickly to stretch the glute out. One leg up on top of the other, or one leg out in front of the other, whatever is better for you. Take your body forward, stretching the glute, so the leg that's on the top or the leg that's out the front is the glute that you'll feel more. Change legs. Take it all the way down. Finish, guys. Thanks, Matt.